today's technical corner, I'm joined by Ross Milne from Ram Engineering and Tooling. We're looking uh, and talking about um, additive manufacturing. Um, I've got quite a lot of notes here, Ross, but I'm really going to let you set the scene uh, in essence here. I mean, the only thing I will say is we're going to be looking at dockable additive systems, um, laser metal deposition. So uh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Give us some more detail. We'll do. We'll do. So there's lots of additive manufacturing um spoken about nowadays. There's a lot of equipment on the market where people are literally trying to print things. From our perspective as Ram Engineering, we've been looking for products that we can bring to the market that are allowing people to do the next step. <clears throat> Try and get a little bit ahead of the curve. Um, so what we've got here with Hybrid, Hybrid have actually made a system that you can put on legacy machines. So by rights, opening the market now to everyone. Instead of it being tier ones and tier two people who are looking at additive machines that can add and take away, so traditional subtractive manufacturing as well as the additive manufacturing. What we've got here is we've got a system, as you can see, it's in the tool changer at the moment. Um, the services for the head are mounted on the front of the spindle. When it comes into play, into the, the, the spindle from the tool changer, the head will come down and it's all fed via external sources. So you can put this onto legacy machines that you've got in your machine shop already. Okay, so you can buy machine tools out there that have yep. got these dedicated solutions all by, by one uh, manufacturer and um, but they're not cheap are they and no, i think this is cheap. this is why it's maybe not breaking ground as quickly as some would hope for sure but what we're doing here is suggesting that you can take an older machine and actually add this additive element absolutely to it. absolutely there's a couple of gambles to take if you're looking at additive manufacturing if you look for something and it's incredibly expensive that's a big gamble if you're not really understanding what it is you're trying to do if you're just going with a need to have an additive thing so from from our perspective when we're looking at this yes there's uh, you do pay some money for the for the service but essentially what we're then offering is we're offering a hand holding service so you've got component parts to make you come to us and say this is what I want to make how do I do it and I don't want it to break the bank these ridiculously priced um, um, all-in-one machines we're gonna have a look at these applications in a minute these parts because there's some um, yeah really interesting um, components that you've got here uh, but when I when I look at this Ross so are we then saying that it doesn't matter whether you've got an old vertical machining center a multitasking machine yep. as long as it's got an ATC on it yep. you can basically absolutely add this to absolutely it. if you've got a good machine and you want to be able to uh, rip some material off then put some material on like to this one here well let's talk about why would you do it I mean yeah. it's all, all very well talking about whether you need one of these machines, but why Why would you need one? What, was, what okay. are we creating? Okay, okay. so th this component part here, this particular one, what we've got is we've got a bit of Ali bronze. It's a bottle mould. The Ali bronze takes heat away um, from the mould process itself. Um, but the mating faces, they tend to wear out very quickly on the moulds. So you have to refurbish your moulds very often and so on and so forth. So what we do with the, the LMD, which is laser metal deposition, is we add metal material, harder wearing material, into the areas that are going to wear out fast. Um, essentially what we're doing is we've got some hoppers at the back of the machine and these hoppers are um, mixing the grain for the material um, to our set parameters, depending on what it is that you're trying to achieve. It's coming through the head, it's guided by um, a gas on the outside to, to contain it and you've got a laser going through the centre to create the heat source to then create the, the metal deposition in the uh, end. What about the integrity of what you're actually printing here though? Is it going to be hard wearing? Is it absolutely, last? absolutely. This is the idea. These edges wear away. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to create a hard wearing edge so that you don't have to refurb this, this mould so often. And if you do have to refurb it and you have an LMD machine, you can refurb the same mould again. Um, this one's interesting. Can you tell us yeah. What we're doing or what we've got there. Yeah, th this particular part, this is made, as you can see, there's two different materials in here. So this has started off with about a 316 stainless in the middle. It's been held between two centres on a fourth axis um, and a slave. And the idea is we can print it all, both sides, and we can do the manufacturing. And we make that part in its entirety in 1.5 hours. If you were trying to do that in a powder bed type of machine, four, six hours mm. to make something like this. Um, the speed of, uh, of printing has is, is come on leaps and bounds and that is impressive. To me, what's impressive, equally as impressive with that is the fact that sometimes you, you, you're you manufacturing a part out of 316 stainless when there's only certain areas of that part that really need, need that it. strength. Absolutely. So Absolutely. you could opt for lower cost materials yep. 
and just print the stainless as where, and where needed. Where you need it, absolutely. Mm. That's exactly what this is for. If you've got areas that you need strengthened or areas that you need um, heat dissipation, for example, like Ali Browns, as we've said already, will, will dissipate heat, then that's exactly where when you When you're it. printing this, so when you've got the stainless in the middle, how does yeah. it change from one material to another? Is you, are you changing the head? We started with a block on this one. So this this particular one was a bit of stainless. Yeah. Um, and then we've put the material, printed the material over the top of it um, with the laser. So the materials are actually one by the end. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, there is several components here, but really for this technical corner, I just want to pick out on this one as well, Ross. Can yeah. you maybe yeah. um, say where the savings are and why, the, why you've done what you've done yeah. with this particular part? This particular part looks very, very simple, but as you can see, we've got some blades diametrically opposed blades. The idea here is that's a nightmare to machine because you have to you can turn your component part, you can bore your component part, but when it comes to these features, you're then going to have to mill this area out. There's no way of turning that. So what we do instead is you can turn your billet, we add the material on, and you just machine away what you don't need. That's the idea. Now this, is, this particular one is a cutting die, um, whereas Think of the oil industry, for example. You have you have reamers, you have hard banding and things. We can throw that hard banding on with uh, mm. with the LMD heads. Uh, the possibilities are endless, really, aren't they? When it's Definitely. especially when it comes to repair, overhaul. Absolutely. Um, you know how much how many products have had to been thrown away, scrapped because Absolutely. and Absolutely. they need to make a new one. It's, it's a big focus now is remanufacture. Um, I know up in Scotland, where I'm from, there's, um, there's, a, there's a huge focus on it, zero waste in the circular economy. The idea is if you've got a part that can be remanufactured, why not remanufacture it? If the 90% of that part is okay, fix the 10%. So what about getting one of these actually onto your machine then, Ross? Yeah. What's the process? The process. So once we've, once we've sat down, we've looked at drawings and things where we've decided between ourselves, hybrid, uh, any manufacturing institute that we're talking to about your particular materials that you're trying to put on. We then look at the process. If you decide to, to go ahead with it, we, we will obviously take the order initially. We sit down and we have a kickoff meeting. And the idea is we need your machine for, it can be up to two months, depending on what it is that we're trying to do. But really for more simple applications, we're talking two to three weeks will be an installation of this on your machine. This particular one here, this is on a, on a slant bed lathe. So this one's slightly more in depth to allow the feeds in. You've got laser, you've got your gases and things to come through. But so by rights, there's, it's quite complex to initially set up. But once it's set up, you're off and running. I'm thinking I might have an old machine in the corner of the machine shop, which I'm really not getting much value out of, yep. which I could, uh, I could potentially accommodate this. Interestingly, if you've got a machine which does not hold tolerance anymore and you're looking for something to uh, become a printer, there's absolutely no reason why you couldn't turn that into a printing machine because by rights you're not looking for the same tolerances as you are mm. on, on uh, subtractive manufacturing when you're doing this. So by rights, you could print it on this old banger of a machine that you have in the corner, then you could put it onto another machine to manufacture it. Yeah. Um, from our perspective, we can go right to the very highest tolerance machine. We can add this on. You can put your material on as we're doing here and then machine it off. I think at one point in the video there, you've seen um, us machining a gear tooth off of a part and then reap reprinting it back, back back on then finishing it off now in the past you just simply couldn't do that but the argument here is we're making the material that well because we're mixing the grain and uh, yeah. fr from the hoppers through into the machine we're making the material that well you're not putting a massive heat affected zone into the the the, the parent material yeah. so by rights what you get is actually a stronger tooth than the original is it expensive uh, to put it onto your machine yeah when you compare to buying a, a machine that is um, you know already equipped if you were if you if you were going to buy a machine a 1.5 meter vmc for example um similar cost to then add this onto the top okay yeah very competitive as well then by the sounds of it definitely um, it's the technology that really stands out though yeah uh, contact ram engineering we'll put the details of the website below thank you very much ross thank you